Tonight, more evidence suggests Omicron is better at sidestepping vaccines than earlier variants, including the highly transmissible Delta mutation. There's a much reduced vaccine effectiveness against symptomatic mild infection. But in a sign of hope, the UK study analyzing nearly 600 positive cases underscored the power of boosters, providing 70 to 75 percent protection against symptomatic infection. There have been over 50 million booster doses administered in the United States. Here in the U.S., Omicron arrived earlier than initially thought, now touching the majority of states. So far, no deaths and a single hospitalization, according to the CDC. More than three quarters of those infected were fully vaccinated, some even boosted, including Peter McGinn, who was Minnesota's first case. I honestly felt like it was a cold just because at the time, you know, I'm vaccinated, I'm boosted. The people I was with are vaccinated, boosted. The thought of COVID never even crossed my mind. States like New Hampshire are pushing for a booster blitz with pop-up vaccine sites as cases there reach a new pandemic high. In nearby Rhode Island and Illinois, a more than 100 percent spike in infections. Meanwhile, hospitalizations nationwide soar a staggering 40 percent. Some truly have PTSD because of COVID and it's led to a massive staffing crisis. You okay? Forecasters predict a continued climb in cases, particularly in the Northeast. New York City on track to more than double its infections this month. The concerning trend prompting the governor to re-implement an indoor mask mandate. Is continued development of new variants inevitable? As long as we are uh, not vaccinating the world, we need to be able to get in front of it. The more the virus has an opportunity to spread, the more it has an opportunity to mutate. Emily Ketta joins us live from Los Angeles. Emily, we are fast approaching a grim milestone, 800,000 COVID-19 deaths. What's behind the latest surge? Jose, health officials are reminding Americans it is the Delta variant driving the rise in hospitalizations here in the U.S., making up more than 99 percent of cases. The United Kingdom, on the other hand, says Omicron could be the dominant strain there later this month. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.